Grace Skull LP stands for linear progression. On this program, you are not meant to be leaving reps in reserve. So the deadlift is gonna progress a little bit slower because um, you're only exposed to it once a week. Johnny Payne loves the neck harness. Every single day, at least get 100 reps. Stage two, you can add in even more on top of this. You can add in some additional tricep work. So if you've been training for a little while, this is a great place to start for you. All right, Derek Levins here again with another program. Grace Skull LP stands for Linear Progression. This was put out by Johnny Payne, AKA John Schaefer's real name. Johnny Payne is way more fun. But I want to review this program today because like many of the beginner programs, it follows something similar to that str starting strength or even like Strongless 5x5 style, but it has some additional pieces pulled with AMRAPs from like 531 style. Um, so I want to hop right into this thing. It's cool. It's kind of an intermediate sort of not quite beginner, not quite intermediate program. So if you've been training for a little while, this is a great place to start for you. Also, I want to thank Evolve AI decided as a team to sponsor these videos. And I was really excited about that because I love talking about training principles and how to get you on the gain. So I'm happy to bring this to you today. Check them out. Amazing app really uh, powerful if you're looking for a program made specifically for you rather than a template. Now, Gray Skull LP. It's kind of a training philosophy. It has a little bit of phasing and some additional volume you can add into it, but I'm gonna start with the base program so you understand what the core of the program is, and then I'll talk a little bit about how to adjust that. So the base program, it's really three workouts that you're doing, but some of the lifts alternate between the weeks and some of them don't. Here's what I mean. With your upper body movements, you're going press, bench, press, bench, press, bench, and a cycle. They just alternate every time you go into the gym. If you're doing a three, day a week per, uh, three times per week program, there you go. Now the squat and the deadlift don't do that. It doesn't go squat, deadlift, squat, deadlift. It goes A, B, A, A, B, A in the progression. And what this means is you're gonna be squatting twice a week, deadlifting once a week. Thank you. And even beyond that, staying with that same starting strength mindset, treating deadlifts as very fatiguing, you're only doing one plus set, one set of five as a plus set with deadlifts. And I'll get into the plus sets here in a minute. But that is one of the core differences between starting strength or even strongless five by five. You're not doing squats every single day. Also, your upper body movements are meant to be done first. And then even beyond that, your deadlift volume is going to be very low. Now you are going to be doing a linear progression. That's the LP. So you're gonna be increasing the weight on the bar every single time you go to the gym, which means you need to start at the right spot. So don't start too heavy on this. Again, I'll go in that more in detail, but for the base program, you're most of the time doing three sets of five. Now the last set of five is a plus set where you're gonna rep out and go as hard as you can. I'm gonna give my general recommendation here of not to go to complete and utter failure where you're just dying, your form is broken down, you're nearing injury, or maybe you're gonna injure yourself. Don't do that. But on this program, you are not meant to be leaving reps in reserve. It's not an RPE seven AMRAP or eight. No, you're supposed to go hard still, but also be smart about it. Now, you're on deadlifts, not going to be doing those two sets of five with your working weight at the beginning. You're just gonna do one plus set and that's it. So your day two on these weeks is gonna be pretty easy in terms of your lower body fatigue. Um, I, that, that's fine. I mean, you, you're gonna need more volume than that on your deadlift at some point. But again, the philosophy is that the work you're doing with your squat is also gonna drive progress in the deadlift. Now, a couple of notes as we look at this program. First, you wanna start on all of the lifts, even though you're only doing a set of five, you wanna start with a weight that you could do for eight to 10 reps. That's what I mean by not starting too heavy. So you wanna use your eight to 10 rep max. Um, don't go in there and try to set a PR for your set of five on your first week. It's not going to work. These starting sets, the two sets of five, they should not be extremely difficult. They should be working sets. You should be getting in that, you know, RP seven range with some of these, but you should have, you know, three, four, five reps in the tank. And that on the plus set is where you're gonna get to do that. Cause you're not gonna stop at five on the plus set. That's why it's a plus set. You're gonna continue repping out until you get almost a failure. So also you're gonna increase the squat and the deadlift by five pounds or two and a half kilograms every single time you're exposed. So the deadlift is gonna progress a little bit slower um, cause you're only exposed to it 
once a week. The squat, you're exposed twice a week, so it's gonna chip up faster. Um, some programs will actually tell you to add more on the deadlift, um, but in this program, that's not the case. You're just chipping it up five pounds every time you're exposed. Now for the press and the bench, as with many upper body movements, I think all upper body movements, when you compare them to lower body movements, they progress at a slower rate. So you're only gonna be adding two and a half pounds or 1.25 kilograms to your press or bench press every time you're exposed. Now, that's sometimes twice a week. You know, you're pressing twice a week here, you're benching twice a week here, but the squat is really gonna have weight added the fastest out of anything on this page. Now, when you stall on a lift, you don't ditch the whole program, you don't completely reset all your stuff, but when you stall, whatever weight you stall on, you then drop back to 90%. So, uh, you know, if you're doing 200 pounds, you're gonna drop back to 90% of that 180, and then you're gonna, gonna continue the progression through. Don't drop back on all the lifts, only drop back on the lift that you stalled out on. So those are kind of the notes. Now, I wanna talk about stage one and stage two of the additions here. So this volume overall for the base program is pretty low. You're missing a lot of the smaller muscle groups and you really can use a little bit and handle a little bit extra work as a novice, as a beginner, and that's who this program is for. The reason why is because you're just starting out, your weights aren't that heavy in the first place, so you're gonna be able to uh, do a little bit more volume because you're not destroying yourself with these super heavy weights. It's not like you squat a thousand pounds and need two weeks to recover. So in stage one, which you could do right out the gate, you can add curls, uh, two sets of 10 to 15 after your bench press, weighted chins. If you can do, you know, six to eight chin ups, uh, maybe even closer to, you know, 10 with body weight, you can add in some weighted chins. If not, maybe some lat pull downs. It's something to really address the lats, which are very helpful in stabilizing and maintaining your body and your positions within all the power lifts, the squat, the bench, and the deadlifts. You're having a strong back, having strong lats is never gonna hold you back as a power lifter or just someone who's pursuing general strength. So next up, neck harness. Um, Johnny Payne loves the neck harness. Every single day, at least get 100 reps. Shoot for like four sets of 25, so you're not going super heavy per the, each set, but you do want to amass a good amount of reps. Now, this is gonna be done every day. Your weighted chins, do the chins or the lat work on your press days, curls on your bench days. Now, stage two, you can add in even more on top of this. You can add in some additional tricep work, kind of following the same like, you know, straight sets and then into an AMRAP with two sets of 12 and then a plus set of 12. You can do that. I would do it after all your work, you know, on your bench day, uh, after you've done your bench, your curls, your squat, and then you come in and you do this tricep work because it's gonna be a little bit of a burner, um, especially that 12 plus at the end. You can do the same protocol with curls after your press day. Shrugs are deadlift day only, so you're gonna be doing two sets of 12 plus set of 12 after that, and then abs on your squat day. So that's really how you can add more volume to this program. You can tailor it to work for you. Again, the template is the template, but with all of these, the expectation is you're gonna make some adjustments, some tweaks to meet your specific needs. That's where you start to become your own coach, learn what works for you, and then jump in and move to other programs as you go. So I appreciate you watching. If you got this far, please take the one second it takes to hit the like button down below. It helps out a lot. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, what are you even doing here? Subscribe to the channel. Let's get with it. Anyways, I hope wherever you're at, you're doing well. Bless us. Yeah.